tales of woe and anguish are all one hears in Atani, Ogbaru local government area of Anambra State, from the Cathedral of the Anglican Diocese, where the bishop is yet to fully describe what they went through during the days of heavy flooding in the surroundings where the water is yet to fully recede. The force of the winds from the flood pulled down the cathedral fence, while some signposts and portions of asphalted road are cracked and damaged. Two of our churches we are completely destroyed. And then fence, some of the fences, like uh, this cathedral compound, the main entrance gate, the thing collapsed. At the Anglican Seminary School in Atani, academic activities have resumed once again. The principal says the flood caused a four-week shutdown, which affected the school heavily in many ways. Some students coming for admission, they stayed at home. Some of them changed school and it greatly affected us. You can see the level of the flood on the walls of the school. The entire school was submerged with the flood. The access road also was submerged. Life is gradually returning to normal within the community, a development that necessitated the closure of the temporary displaced persons camps. A community leader praises government efforts in the provision of relief materials, but is unable to measure the quantum of losses incurred as a result of the flood. We have closed almost all the camps because by the time the water began to recede, on a daily basis, people began to leave the camp. Because, like I told you, they are farmers. Farmers who are ready to do the much they can to help themselves. So the moment the water began to recede, the camp was closed. One of the huge losses is the collapse of this bridge linking Umunanko and Osomala communities. A problem that presents an opportunity for some youths who cash in on the challenge to make brisk business ferrying people across in canoes. Against all odds, business activities are fully commenced, especially rice processing and bagging. For the traders, however, their losses are unquantifiable and recovery can only be by God's grace. We cut the cement today. Tomorrow, what I come, carry on again. Tomorrow, I, I, I carry it go and hire a house from that place. Almost there. Deep say water still spoil everything. All these places. Both rice, beans, gary, everything, soak into water. Meanwhile, good spirited individuals are still donating relief materials to the flood victims. This time, Anambra State Governor Professor Chukuma Soludo receives truckloads of relief materials, including bags of rice, beans, amongst other items, from the Emeka of Four Foundation for the Flood Affected People. We have developed a distribution profile, uh, which we have shared with SEMA and is attached to our letter of donation, which will be handed over to you. Here we are, Anambra, facing these emergencies, and now, well, we we'll try to grapple with it, and I want to commend our officers. Well, we did the bit that we had to do as a responsible government, but also others, non-governmental organizations, NEMA, KEM, did their own bit, uh, the Anambra state government is calling for a national response to the problem of erosion and flooding in the state.